Thank you. It is time now to check our Sunrise Smart Start. Two people are in critical condition this morning after being pulled from a house fire in Rochester. That fire now under investigation by the Arson Task Force. It broke out on Lexington Avenue near Lake Avenue shortly after 7 o'clock yesterday morning. Well, a violent crash bringing down a utility pole in Greece. This happened late yesterday on Westridge Road. Always, Witnesses there that. tell us power and traffic lights were knocked out as a result. No word yet on a cause of the crash or any injuries. And a bicyclist recovering from minor injuries following a crash with a car. This happened yesterday at the intersection of East Avenue and Clover Street in Brighton. Firefighters at the scene telling us the rider was taken to the hospital as a precaution. They say he was not wearing a helmet at the time. Well, the search is on for a couple of art thieves who stole a sculpture worth thousands of dollars right out of the front yard of a gallery in Rochester. That 400-pound, 8-foot-tall sculpture overlooked the parking lot of the craft company number six. According to one of the store's neighbors, early Friday morning, a black pickup truck left the parking lot with its headlights off, then turned right onto Portsmouth Terrace. At that point, the sculpture fell out of the truck. The neighbor says two people got out, muscled it back in, and took off. If you have any information about this theft, you're asked to call 911. After a very busy summer expanding into Gates and Greece, Greenlight now planning to work through the winter before Greenlight proceeds with installing its fiber optic lines. It needs a certain number of people in each neighborhood to sign up. The Webster Weaver area recently met that goal. Construction there set to begin this week. Josh, still dark and chilly here as we approach 7 a.m. That's right, Mark, and a lot of clouds will greet you as you head out the door this morning. So will a chill with temperatures largely into the 30s this morning, and it feels like it's in the low 30s when you factor in just a little bit of a breeze. Here's your planner here for the day today, tracking what should be uh, what I would call a quiet day. For October, though, a little on the cool side. Typically, we see temperatures this time of year into the middle and upper 50s. We're looking at highs here today into the low 50s with an overcast sky and uh, maybe a rogue sprinkle west of town. But by and large, it's just kind of a cool day for uh, October. Yeah. Sunrise this morning is? A little after 7.30. 730. Yeah, we, we, some of the latest sunrises of the, uh, of the uh, season. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much. And thank you for watching News 8 at Sunrise. Our next update coming up in 25 minutes. CBS This Morning starts right now. Have a great day.